Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGym007 and today we're looking at the Player Warp plugin. Now this is a really fantastic plugin which allows you and your players to create their own warps for a cost and customize them and put them into different categories in a really useful GUI. So if we do forward slash p warp help, that's going to show us all of the commands. Now if you just do forward slash p warp or pw, that's going to open up the GUI and there's a couple of cool things in here. So we have different categories. Now you can change these or add these in the config file. Down at the bottom, we have the warps overview, which is obviously this page here. We have the manage my warps page, which is any one that you have created and then save warps, which is obviously your favorite ones from maybe other people or yourself. So in this page, you can obviously go to the different categories to much easily find a particular warp that you want or you can just search in all warps and see what they are. Now if I hover over one it's going to tell us various information about it so test it will tell you the owner, when it was created, the world, how many visits and visits today, the rating so you can actually right click to review so you can right click and then set a star rating um, but obviously you cannot do that to your own uh, warp unfortunately. And then availability, so it's active, you can obviously disable warps if you don't want them for whatever reason. And then you can set a price for people to teleport to it. So this one's free, this one's $5, this one's $100. And then the description, you can obviously set that as well. And then shift left click to unsave or save as a favorite, and then left click will teleport you there. And then you get a message in chat which says you have been teleported. So the first thing you want to do is actually create a warp. So P warp create and this one's going to be called Server Miner. Now, when you create a warp, it's gonna cost you $5,000. As you can see in chat, it took that away from me. And if we look at my balance, well, I now have a negative balance, which is not really ideal. So now that we've set that, what can we actually do? If we do forward slash PW, that's gonna open up the GUI and warps overview. So it's an ender pearl by default, and you can see this is what it looks like by default when you haven't customized it at all. So one thing we can do is pwarp law and then server minor, hit enter and then you can write anything random, so something random and that will set the law. And then if we go ahead and do pwarp price followed by server minor, we can actually set a particular price, maybe $50 and that will cost $50 to uh, teleport there. You can make it private, which means not everyone can go there. So private and then server minor. And then maybe you don't like the name of it. Maybe you think it's too long. So you can do four slash P warp rename server minor to SM. And once you've done that, you can also set the item to make it a bit easier to see. So you can do PW item for server minor. And then you have to type out the exact name of the item. So we can do an emerald like so. And then if we go into the GY and go into all warps, we see it's gone because it is private. So if we go into manage my warps, it is there. And here we go, we can see it has zero visits and the availability is active, $50. And we haven't set a description, right click to edit. And we can obviously change a few things in here. So you can set the price. We can set the type of warp in here. We can make it inaccessible if we want. So we can change the item here. And we can change the law if we wanted to. And you can see there's a few other things here. You can even remove it. So if we go back to this, you can see it's inactive. And that is how you would create one, either by using the commands as you saw, or by coming in here and just right clicking and editing. And then you can obviously change it. The type of warp, you can give it a category as I mentioned. So this could be a farm. And then if we go back to the overview, we can see there's one in shops, one in farm, one in other, and then zero in the others, and three total. Now, the final thing is if you do change anything in the config file, you can do the pw reload command, and that will reload everything. So that's everything in-game. Let's head over to the config file and see what we can do in there. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel, and we've got a few YML files. Now, the data and user data is obviously just save stuff. Don't worry about that. Categories, this is where we have the different categories. So we have the event, building, shop, other, all, and farm. And you can see they all have different names, laws, items, and a position in the GUI. So 20, 21 to 31. So you could obviously add more, you could change these any way you wanted um, and just create more categories. That'd be straightforward. 
And then in the config, there's not too much in here. So up at the top, we've got a few things like auto save and the date format. Uh, then we have the teleport delay and auto save interval, the currency, which is obviously in dollars, the warp price. So by default, it's $5,000. And then you can obviously set it to zero to make it free. And then we've got various things like the refund you get when you delete one. And then if we scroll down, we've got banned items, disabled worlds, the max name of a warp. And then at the bottom, we have various different messages and stuff that pops up in chat. But here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.13 to 1.18. And if we scroll down, we've got all the stuff in here. You can see a couple of cool images. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>